Uh, you can put up first before you will. Uh, Republican Party of Arizona put this out. I got this from George. Make sure you follow him. You've seen him as a guest on this podcast. George on Twitter. Uh, he's got to have 250,000 followers by now on Twitter. Republican Party of Arizona breaking SCOTUS. Supreme Court of the United States rules in favor of Arizona voter registration requirements. This is a monumental victory for election integrity. Today's decision mandates that Arizona must reject state voter registration forms without proof of U.S. citizenship. Folks, understand this is revolutionary. This may sound somewhat sedate to you, but this is huge. This is absolutely huge news. So in other words, you can no longer register to vote in the United States of America without proof of insurance. But, Tom, you've said people have been registering with the last four of their IDs and their DLs. That's not enough anymore. You must have proof of citizenship. In other words, you got to have a birth certificate in order to register to vote. You have to have proof that you are a citizen of the United States of America because you're obviously not a... Now, the, the Democrats don't care whether or not you're a citizen or, or a citizen or not to vote. They don't, they don't care whether you're a citizen or not to vote. They don't care. So, but, so what they do is simply give you the mirage of citizenship, i.e. the last four digits of a social security number or a driver's license that you can get with the last four digits of a social security number. They give you that veneer of citizenship so that you can go and register to vote illegally. When you register to vote with a driver's license or with the last four of your social security number and you are not a citizen, you are committing a felonious crime. So the Democrats are enabling felonious crimes. And you saw the statistics that we put out earlier this week, can't remember which day, but we put out this week of all of the people that are registering using the last four digits of the social security number. 250,000 was what I put out four or five months ago in Texas. Now it's over a million. I believe it was 1.1, 1.2 million people have registered recently in the state of Texas. And when people think we're going to win, now with this, Ken Paxton, who's already opened an investigation to this because he probably anticipated the SCOTUS ruling. Ken Paxton, one of the AG heroes, along with Andrew Bailey, out of, of Missouri, we need Ashley Moody. Hello, Ashley, to do her job here in the state of Florida. Wake up. Time to be a warrior. Time to be a warrior, everybody. There's no more appeasement. There's no more accommodation. There's no more being a happy warrior. It's time to be a warrior. It's time to get down and it's time to fight. So they can, they'll probably arrest me for insurrection for saying that five years from now. Not even five years from now, five months from now if Kamala's, Kamala's president. Because all you have to have is some sort of tacit connection to some sort of statute. It wouldn't matter what it is for you to end up in the court system. So this is a big deal. You can no longer register to vote in the United States of America if you don't have proof that you were born in the United States or you are a naturalized citizen. That's it. Game over. Now, what has to happen is Laura Trump and the RNC. There needs to be lawsuits and we'll win the popular vote now. If, if, if Laura Trump does what she's supposed to do with the RNC, we'll win. Not only will Trump win, not only will he win the Electoral College vote, he will win the popular vote now. Because the only reason why they win the popular vote is because of all the illegals that are voting. People, and, and again, I know those of you that watch this podcast hear this statistic all the time. People always say that our country has 330 million people. And that's not accurate, folks. That is a 2006 number. 18 years ago, and you think we have the same population? When Joe Biden this year, I mean, during during his administration over the last four years, will have let in between 15 and 17 million people. Hussein let in how many people? How many people even came in under Trump? And not only that, but with 330 million people, we, we allow in uh, legal, uh, legal immigration of one to two million per year. And that's the ones that we actually know about, and that's chain migration. So there's a lot of people attached to those numbers. Well, for every one that you see, it could be four, five, six, seven, eight other people. So this is a huge deal, absolutely huge deal. Now, I just wanted to show you why this is a huge deal. Go to the next one for me, Will. George tweet, breaking, Texas Attorney General Ken Paxson has just confirmed that non-citizens are getting registered to vote across the state. Yeah, over a million of them in his state. 
His undercover investigators caught various Democrat-linked NGOs, non-government organizations, giving voter registration forms to people at DMV location. Let me read you the rest of this. I have it, I have it uh, printed on a piece of paper here. The investigation has already confirmed that various nonprofit organizations have been located outside Texas Department of Public Safety uh, driver's license offices, operating booths, offering to assist in voter registration for persons doing business at the driver's license offices. But all citizens have already been presented an opportunity to register vote as part of the process of renewing or being issued an identification card or driver's license. So there is no obvious need to assist citizens to register to vote outside of DPS offices calling into question the modus, motives of the nonprofit groups. This is why it's huge. No longer can do it. You, you, you can't register to vote even at a DMV unless you have proof of, uh, uh, proof of citizenship. Now you're like, Tom, this just came in to, came in, uh, you know, came into being, so to speak, today. True, but now it is what? What's today, today, Aaron? August 22nd? 22nd. So the 22nd, we, listen, and the, I believe the election's November 5th, something like that, November 5th, 6th, 7th, I always get November 3rd, 5th, whatever it is, early November. So we have all this time. We can clean out all these voter rolls right now. This can happen right now. Alabama just cleared 3,000 off of their voter rolls, right? I mean, it, that's it. If it, if it can be done that fast in Alabama, then that can be done everywhere. And all we need to do is focus on swing states. That's all we need to do. Now, listen, if we have if we um, if we have the organization, if we have the people to go after non-swing states, great. But we need to clean the voter rolls in the following states. Let's just go from south to north to west. In Georgia, Pennsylvania, Michigan, Wisconsin, Minnesota, Arizona, Nevada, and New Mexico, because we can win. All of those states easily win all of those states. So we need to focus on those states, get their voter rolls cleaned out, and we will win those states in a landslide. And Donald Trump will even win the will even even will win the popular vote. I'm telling you, this is an absolutely huge win for all of us. All right, let's go 